Now with every dramatic awning that you buy, you get a free bonus gift. And this is it here, you get this great big tube which comes, it wraps up your thingy when it comes, you know what I mean? So you get to keep this and you get to sort of kind of like your own didgeridoo, isn't it? You ready? I'm going to give you an example. Here we go. Now when I received the dramatic awning, the first thing I did was read the instructions and it was enough to make me panic. There's only three or four pages of mathematics and pi r squareds and longitudes and latitudes and all sorts of stuff. You could land on the moon if you know how to fly this spacecraft. But then when I unpacked it, it really comes down to you've got the big roll, which is the awning. For the Toyota cases specifically, it's got these legs, okay, which are made for the vehicle itself. So when you are purchasing your awning, there'll be particular parts which may suit your vehicle the best. There's a couple of little doodang leggy things and a handful of nuts and bolts. Now this part here actually clicks onto the awning this little bolt like this. So now the two legs are attached to the awning. Shada boom. Oh now inside your awning you've got a awning warning. Okay and that's this little bit here. And what they're saying is be uh, you know mount all the gear up. This is called a cotter pin in here, don't take it out before it's ready, otherwise it'll um, it'll unravel, it'll spin up and spin out and spin you and you'll all be off in the bush. So leave the cotter pin in and get on with the job. Now the next step is to ensure that the safety lock lever is in the down position. Okay, so there's up and it's in the down position. Then we'll remove the cotter pin on the left hand side. Now that's important. So we remove the cotter pin on the left hand side only, not the right hand side. We'll leave that one in and take it out for later. Just take my hand off now and see if it spins out. Oh, it's all good. And you get a nice big cotter pin to keep and do something with it. Next step is just to rivet on the sail plane track awning rail. And now we've run along with the awning and put the awning into the sail track which is mounted up the top here. So we've got two guys on their poles, someone in the middle and you just slide it along and get to this position here. On the side of the leg here, there's a little black lever there which drops down this leg. That supports the whole thing whilst you put the two bolts up into the top there to hold it on, one at this end and one at that end. And then after that, then we secure it to the bottom of the bus. So there's the bottom leg there. And we just held it out there, just showing you a bit of a look there, and oh, there's a nice creek out the background. So why put a 10-foot awning on a 30-foot vehicle? Get it as long as you can, okay? Nearly double your space. It shades the vehicle as well, keeps the sun out, and I don't know, they're just a fantastic thing, aren't they? A friend of mine's actually got two. He's got one on one side of the vehicle, and he's got one on the other side of the vehicle. He says it keeps the vehicle so cool and he's got lots of space so what we do is we we can bump up the vehicles side by side we put the two awnings together we make this whole area you know it's like one of those big arabian tents we've got everything going down you know what i mean so wherever you go it's great to have your annex when it's raining put it out and you can open your windows without getting water in your bus and of course it keeps the sun off your head nice bit of shade to sit by a creek or in the middle of the desert or wherever you are take a treat So it keeps the rain out of your bus, you can open your windows now and lie in bed and read a book and look out at the view day or night without getting rain all over you. Keeps the sun off the side of the bus which keeps you cool as well. Nice place to sit by the creek under the, on a chair, you know. Throw a fishing line out and catch some nice fish and all that sort of thing.